matter what your stage in life is, always depend on God. Daniel chapter 6 verses 10 and 11. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went home. And in his upper room with his windows open toward Jerusalem, he knelt down on his knees three times that day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as was his custom was since early days. Then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his God. Daniel, as we examine his life, we see that over time he had become the man in charge, second in charge or second in command to King Darius. King Darius was the Mede, Mede, king of the Medes. He was in charge of this empire that had been just taken over from the Babylonians. And uh, Darius had set Daniel uh, in charge. He was, da Daniel was King Darius' favorite man, a uh, point man, the man whom he would go to for advice, for counsel, for decision making, for just running his empire. So Daniel at this stage in his life had it made. He had proven his character. He has demonstrated excellence. He'd been found so faultless and uh, faithful that nobody could uh, accuse him of anything. You know, he had made it big in this empire. Now, even at this point, when Daniel found out that his adversaries, people who were against him, had stealthily set up a trap for him. You know, Daniel could have reacted one of two ways. He could have used his position. He could have used his uh, entire career and all that he had, the, the, uh, the influence that he had with the king to squash that uh, stealthy uh, deed and, and assignment that was brought up against him. He could have done that. He could have used his position and power and influence to try to protect himself and defend himself. But instead, what we see him do is this, that when he found out that what the, his opponents had designed against him, what the king had uh, issued, the decree the king had issued, Daniel goes and prays. He turns to God as the source of his defense, as a source of his help, as the one who would come and rescue him even at this stage in life. That's an important lesson for us to learn, that no matter what stage in life we are, our dependence must always be on God. Daniel turned to God for his help, not his own abilities, not his own position, not his own success, not his own place of power, but he turned to God for help. Instead of depending on the arm of flesh, he depended on the Lord his God to fight his battles like the Bible says in 2 Chronicles 32 verse 8, instead of just depending on what he could have achieved, he, turned, he decided to lean on God to get him through that difficult situation in life. A lesson for us to learn. No matter what stage in life you are, always lean on God, depend on Him to fight your battles because He never fails. This was an important part of Daniel's journey, important part of who Daniel was, something you and I can learn to do. Let's pray. Father, we ask that as we see and observe in Daniel's life, how we depended on you, not relying on the arm of flesh, not relying on his, on his own abilities, power or influence, but he leaned on you. Help us to lean on you for you to fight our battles. Give us the grace to do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.